I'm Peter Block at the American Heart Association annual meeting in Chicago. I'm here for On the Scene and with me is Dr. Shimada from Tokyo. Dr. Shimada has just presented the aspirin trial. Aspirin in elderly patients, prophylactic aspirin, does it help or not help? Another one of those questions, we always use aspirin, but is it really useful? So Dr. Shimada, tell me about your trial. Okay, uh, we enrolled uh, more than, uh, approximately 15,000 patients with elderly with multiple risk factors. And uh, once daily low dose 100 mg aspirin was uh, uh, administered to one to one. Uh, and the other control is no aspirin. So it's not a double blind study, it's a, a open uh, endpoint branded probe design. Okay. So half the patients essentially got 100 milligrams of aspirin, the other got controlled, nothing. <coughs> what did you find? I guess okay. that's the answer. Uh, the, as a primary endpoint, we, we got a hard endpoint. It's a cardiovascular death, non-fatal MI, non-fatal stroke. The, as a primary endpoint, we, we, we couldn't find any significant difference between the two groups. The hazard ratio was uh, 0.94. Thus, insignificant 6% reduction was observed. So it's a negative one. Yeah. So it's a negative trial. But that's a little bit of a surprise. I'm sure you were surprised by that because other trials have shown some benefit, particularly the physician's trial back in 1985 here in the United States. Were there some positive aspects of the trial? Yeah, but as a, as a second end point, the myocardial infarction was significantly decreased by 47% and also TIA was reduced by 43%, so it's a very positive one, yeah. Okay, uh, there are other trials now that are in practice that we're still waiting for. Yeah, right. Three trials, trials yeah. that have diabetics that get prophylactic acid, very elderly patients, and patients with multiple risk factors. I guess what uh, I would say is We'll have to still wait and see. Yeah, Do you agree? Yeah, okay. Right. Uh, our population was uh, a little bit, you know, uh, was low risk. So the ongoing studies, studies might be a, a higher risk, uh, elderly diabetes. So we, we, we should wait the results of that uh, 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 ongoing studies. Okay. So the teaching points here are the AVOID trial shows no difference in aspirin uh, pro given prophylactically, but good signals about recurrent myocardial infarction and also TIA. And three trials out there are still important trials. These are low-risk patients you studied, and yet the higher-risk patients may well show a benefit. The jury is still out. We would agree on that. Okay. Thank you.